again hope everyone is doing great in this video we are going to learn how to type text in a circle or in any shape plus we will also learn how to warp the text in many different ways so keep watching So uh, first let's learn how to type a text in a circle so using the ellipse tool simply draw a circle by keep on holding the shift and dragging and I'm going to make it one more copy like this now let's give it stroke and I'm going to use this tool type on path tool and just simply click on the path and I'll start writing so I'm going to write how to write or let's say how to curve warp or type text in a circle so I'm going to write half here and I'm going to write in a circle in the other one so let's keep it like this zoom in a little bit and you can see these two handles so I'm just gonna simply press and drag like this so you'll be able to change their position there are two handles so now let's drag it using this one and as this is a circle so I can also rotate it like this so let's decrease the font size a little bit and set its position so that's done now let's change the settings a little bit, select it, click on type and from right here click on type on a path and type on a path options. From here you can first of all click on preview so you can see what is happening with your design and you can have many different effects but let's keep it to rainbow and from right here I can set it to the center so now you can see it is in the center of the line. Uh, you can also flip it. For now let's click on ok and it's all done now I'm going to type in a circle in this circle so select it and first of all change it to stroke and type in a circle and now again go on to the settings type on about the options preview and uh, this time I'm going to flip it and I'm going to first of all put it in the center and flipping it like this now I can place this circle on the top of the that circle like this and now I can rotate it yeah I think that looks fine now I can also place some dots which you see mostly in logos so I'm just going to place two dots here one right here first let's increase its size a little bit this one too now all and drag like this and here we go yeah it's all done and I'm just going to click and I'm going to bring it to the center like this so that's all for writing in a circle now we will learn how to type a text in any random shape so first let's draw some shape using this pen tool i'm going to draw a simple curve so first a straight line pressing alt and dragging it like this again a straight line and then transforming it into the curve and then changing the stroke you can also watch the video on how to use the pen tool i will also place its link in the description so now just select the type and path tools click on right here and now i can write how to write text in any shape and i can increase its font size like this so here we go okay so now we are going to learn how to use the warp tool so simply click on type tool and let's type hello this time 
like this and now i'm going to make it one more copy so alt and drag now select it object envelop the start and make it warp and there are so many options you can explore them by yourself and you can also change its bend and horizontal and vertical distortion for now let's keep it to like this or maybe zero or i think 24 is okay and now with this one again object envelop this thought make it warp and now let's give it fish eye or fish i think it should be fish so first of all let me decrease this one and now i'm going to select the fish and now i can increase the band to up to 50 percent plus and uh, first of all let's click on ok and you can retype anything like simply click on it and now let's type fishy just like i have done in the thumbnail so here we go so this is all you can uh, your text is turned into the fish shape Now we will learn how to make a shadow so first of all let's write something i'm going to type zero to one now i'm going to make it one more copy simply alt and drag like this object envelop this card make it warp and now what i'm going to do is i have selected arc lower and I'm going to increase its vertical size, but I'm going to increase it in the reverse direction, like this. And you will later learn why I'm doing this, so click on OK. Now I'm going to first of all reflect this one. And now I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. Like this. Now I'm going to adjust it a little bit. So let's increase its size. And decrease its size a little bit. So that it can be perfectly placed. So here we go. Now I'm going to select both of them and increase their size a little bit. You can break it into the center. Now I can decrease its opacity so that it will look like a shadow. So here we go. So here we go now. It seems like it's the shadow of 021. So now I'm going to make an effect which will look like it's a reflection in the water using the make with mesh tool. So simply type O. And object envelop this part now make with mesh and I'm going to use five rows and one column and click on OK now I'm going to choose the direct selection tool zoom in a little bit and now I'm going to select these two points both together using shift and turn them a little to left and the other one to right and same goes with this one to the left and this one to the right and like this now I can zoom out I can select them and I can drag it like this so now let's change its color to blue so select this one and then you will be able to change its color this one is good to go i think so now i can use a pen tool to make these those white lines so that it looks like it's a reflection in the water so increase the stroke remove the color and i will give this white color and i can change its shape to this one 
and yes like this one so i can simply alt and drag it to here let's zoom out a little bit to see how it's looking yeah i can change i think i should change this one to this one yeah now look it's looking perfect so now let's do this final one which is make with top object so first type something and i'm going to type okay and now i'm going to make some shape you can use any other shape like some heart or some car or anything for the sake of simplicity i'm going to use a circle select both of them envelop this chart make with top object and here we go so this was make with top object so today we learned how to type over text in a circle or in any different shape plus we also learned how to warp over text and make beautiful designs out of it so this was all for today's see you next video keep watching and yes don't forget to like subscribe share and comment